Have you ever been in a connection or a relationship and you just had this feeling that something was completely off but you couldn't just put your finger on it and work out what it was? Hi, my name's Nim. Although life might be a mess, this is a work in progress. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you for dropping by once more. Uh, that intro line, I decided to change it a bit. I used to use my old one. Uh, I'm here to cast a light on your shadow and to help you traverse your shadowverse journey. I'm trying out some different things, so maybe this might be a new one for future. In today's video, we're going to be talking about polarity. So the first thing I want to address is what exactly is polarity? Social media has often been making reference to this. You may have come across this before. You may have heard people talking about polarity and connection, etc. But what is it? Let me break it down for you. So to put it analogically, think of a battery, a battery in a device. Now, when you put a battery, say, in your remote controller for your television, if you put it in the right way, the current flows. You press the button, it increases the volume or changes the channel, right? However, it doesn't work when you turn the battery the other way. Now, if you can understand that, understanding polarity will be a lot easier. So when it comes to polarity, think of the masculine figure, usually uh, in a heterosexual couple, it would be a man and a woman, but think of the masculine figure as the one that houses kind of the plus, the positive energy. Whereas the feminine will be receiving, so she harnesses or uses the negative or neg the negative or negative energy. So why is polarity a problem when it's in reverse? Well, it is becoming a bit more prevalent these days. Um, you that you might be seeing a growth in um, kind of um, feminine women and masculine. Uh, sorry, masculine uh, women and feminine men now. Although you might see a rise in, in uh, the sorts of connections uh, at this time, um, right now in our society, um, this is uh, this has emerged or happened for a number of reasons. Uh, you know, to, to cite a few, you know, just polarity is uh, out of balance, energy is out of balance, the rise of feminism, the rise of chauvinism. You know, the constant battle. So, what's happened now is um, there are there are rise uh, there is a rise in the number of um, sort of um, dominant uh, masculine uh, women and sort of submissive uh, feminine men. Now, is this a problem? Um, uh, to a certain degree it is and to a certain degree it isn't. It is, I'll, I'll address it isn't uh, first. Now it isn't because there is still polarity. If you think about it, you've still got one person who is kind of leading, the other person is submitting or following. However, usually it doesn't always work that way. And the simple reason is, is because both genders have been sort of, you could say they've been programmed or designed by nature to behave in a certain way. At this point, I do want to advocate that I am not um, in favor of red pill. I'm not in favor of blue pill, black pill. I do not believe in any of, any of the pills, nor am I you know, in favor of MGTO or any of the other things. This video is just to explain the differences of polarity. So when it, is, when it comes to polarity, um, what's happened in society is polarity has kind of moved out of phase. It's, it's kind of shifted the other way around. And as a result, people are now, um, I mean, again, from my own experience, you know, I'm people and from my own experience, uh, I have noticed and I have experienced in my life that um, when there is an out of sync balance of polarity, um, I, for example, myself, when I've been too much of my feminine uh, or kind of not being uh, somebody willing to work towards something or being a bit of a risk taker or a chancer, the problem is I don't tend to magnetize somebody who's in that um, feminine energy who wants to then submit or is willing to kind of meet me on, on a balanced uh, common ground. Now, I do also just want to say that that's not to say that if you identify as somebody who is a feminine man or somebody who identifies as a masculine woman, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, I totally respect everybody. Everybody has their own thing. But here I'm just talking about what polarity is and normally the way it works. So when uh, a masculine individual, and again, this could be any gender, any, any, any gender type, any orientation, when, I'm, when the masculine, the, the person who identifies as more, the, the one that houses the masculine energy, when he or she or they decide to lead, 
and the other one part of follows, the kind of the flow of the energy between the two, the dynamics tend to work much more effectively. So what's all the fuss about it all on social media? Well, to begin with, it's crucial. Um, additionally, without certain knowledge of the kind of role that you were supposed to play, um, or you are supposed to play, as you are in, in this lifetime, um, you are, you've been designed, uh, you kind of, you could say your mindset, your brain's been wired to, to do, you've been, sort of, your body's been developed in a way to do a certain thing, to perform certain roles, which then um, actually makes uh, it, makes you <laughs> attractive to somebody um, who you desire. Can we temporarily exchange the energies? Absolutely. Um, it is possible. Um, and the simple reason is because in masculine men, uh, or just in the masculine, I should say, the masculine individual will have masculine and feminine energy, as will uh, the feminine, who will also have masculine and feminine energy as well. The only thing that differentiates between the two is that in the masculine, the one, the, identi the person who identifies as more of the masculine, they will naturally have, say, you could say 60 to 70% sort of uh, masculine energy. Uh, the remaining 30 to 40% within them will be feminine. Vice versa, in the feminine, she'll have 60 to 70% kind one of kind of more feminine energy, and she will have, or they will have, um, 30 to 40% masculine. Now, in terms of uh, playing roles in, in the dynamics of a relationship, um, can, is this to say that men uh, should basically go to work and women should stay at home and do everything? Absolutely not, no. Um, men and women can still, you know, I still feel, I believe that men and women can still uh, have same roles. I mean, women can still go to work, men can help with the housework, they can do the cooking, they can spend time with the kids. Um, it's possible, you know, both both genders are able to, to do both. And the simple reason is, it's just that even though we have these different roles uh, in, in society or in families, uh, that's not to say that men and women can't step out and perform the roles of the other person. No, they can. They can always help each other out. Uh, in fact, what I'd say that working together as a team uh, actually promotes uh, effective communication, which is one of the crucial elements to a successful relationship. Relationships, um, and I'm going to base this on my own experience, relationships have totally gone out the window for me in the past. Um, a lot of the times due to my own uh, ignorance, my own emotional immaturity, my own uh, inability to communicate effectively with my then partners, uh, vice versa. Sometimes it's come, uh, a part of it has come from, from their side. So just to give you an example, uh, I'd like to speak of two women. Uh, I won't obviously give their names, but I'll just talk about two examples of my own uh, who with, um, uh, and I'll try and be as unbiased, I'll be trying to be as balanced as possible as I can of, of both these individuals that I've had uh, different connections with. The first person I'm going to talk about is my ex. Um, firstly, I want to say a, a big great, I'm really grateful to her um, for being a part of my life back then. Um, she taught me a lot, she taught me a lot about myself, um, she taught me a few things, <laughs> some skills, you know, words, uh, phrases. Um, so, because uh, we were obviously from different ethnicities, we were from different backgrounds. So, um, I'm obviously brown, she's uh, Caucasian. So, um, we had some cultural learning. That was that was there, and that was great. Um, it was very interesting to do that. Um, but here was an example of where the energies were out of sync because, like, she was a bit more in her dominant masculine. I was then sort of forced to go into my sort of, you know, submissive feminine. The balance, uh, it did work, but not for very long because what happens is when you're in that energy, when, when you're kind of, um, you, like I said, you can, I, I, you know, and there, there were times where, you know, I did used to step, you know, into my masculine, she'd step into feminine. There were, but when the energies are kind of predominantly like that, unless if it, if it works for you both, it might work for you. It might work for you. I don't know. I'm not an expert. It may work for you. In which case, if it does, it does. Well done to you. If it doesn't, which is, I'd say more often than not, it's not going to work. Chances are um, energies are going to be out of sync. So what you'll find is and what, what I actually experienced in that was there was a lot of fun, but there was a lot of, there was a lot of band, a lot of humor. However, um, over a period of time, the connection started to fade and I kind of felt like I was not able to uh, step up 
you know, where I felt like I needed to step up. Looking back on it um, and seeing, realizing my mistakes in that relationship is looking to where I should have stepped up um, and I didn't. So um, what actually happened is that relationship then just came to a sudden end. Speaking about the second person, now although this person didn't actually become my girlfriend um, and at, literally nothing happened between us, but from my side there was a real heart to heart, soul to soul connection. Um, and the connection was so potent, it was so powerful, it was so beautiful, you know. But this individual, this, uh, this girl that I was sort of, I, I had a really, really, really huge crush. I had a lot of, I developed quite a few feelings for this person. Um, looking back on that, that connection was actually quite um, polar. It was, there was, you could see, I can, I can look back on it and see, and even today I can kind of feel the, um, uh, the mechanics of the polarity because it was like she was very feminine, she was very sweet, she was very, um, um, very kind of girly, very feminine. Um, and what that did in, in itself is I, I kind of, I, I remember being around, even in her presence, just being in her presence, it was like I could look into her eyes and I could just, we, we, could, we had this thing that we were able to look into each other's eyes just for a moment or two. And I, I can't speak for her, I can't speak for her, but I'm gonna guess and I'll certainly speak for myself. It felt like there was something there, there was this pull. There was this real uh, pull, this, it was just like we could speak, we could look into each other's eyes, we didn't even have to utter a word, and we spoke, you know. And when you have that kind of polarity between you, it works. And it's just like, yeah, you are the guy, you're the one who kind of takes lead and um, you kind of lead the connection and you lead the conversation and you don't always have to lead um, gentlemen it's not necessarily that you always have to lead every connection she might start uh, uh, every conversation she might start the a conversation one day you can continue it you can obviously give your valid uh, valid thoughts your opinions and be totally true and on, you know true and honest to yourself um, ladies um, you can you can from time to time you know you, of course it's not like to say that you're not allowed to do that of course not it doesn't kill the polarity at least I don't think it does in fact I think it's quite nice if women um, do you know start a conversation with this it's quite nice because it you know at least for me it gives me the chance to then think oh well maybe she's taking an interest in maybe maybe she genuinely wants to get to know me that's why she's taking an interest the initiative to ask me what my opinion is about subject matter x y and z so it is crucial um, polarity you know it's if, if you don't have that balance between you right it's kind of like it comes back to that uh, analogy like I gave you before if you put the the battery in the other way around you're not going to get anything the, your re remote control is not going to respond it just will not respond because you don't actually have that connection the, the flow of the current is not working the circuits not complete however with the right way around the flow will work energy flows the current works and therefore you will find that the mechanics of the relationship are more than likely to work um, also, I would like to say uh, that I have, um, in conversation, uh, random female friends. Um, I I have randomly, or in conversation, or just naturally sometimes, sometimes deliberate, sometimes naturally, I've asked them uh, their opinion. You know, like what? Do, how do you feel about a guy? You know, do you, you know? Do you expect a guy to lead you, or do you expect to? And majority of them have pretty much said that. The, the majority of them, have, you know, have kind of said it in their own way, in their own words. They've said that they like it when a guy uh, kind of takes the initiative. They like it when the guy, they didn't say lead, so I'm not going to use that word, but I'd say takes the initiative. They like, the, they like it when the guy um, kind of makes them feel protected, you know, makes them feel safe, makes them feel wanted, okay? So gents, that is what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Ladies, um, for you to be polar in your polarity, your feminine, be graceful, you know, um, be, be feminine. <laughs> I don't really know how else to put it. Just be feminine, be yourself, be feminine, be graceful. You know, do things that are girly. Do things that are uh, womanly, you know. That's not to say, you know, that if you're a woman, you're not allowed to repair a car or drive. Of course not. You know, if you've got skills like that, it's great. It's fantastic. You know, I, I'm of, I am of the opinion that even if, 
my partner has a certain set of skills that I am absolutely oblivious to. I am so down from learning from her because that is what a relationship is. Communication and growing together is the actual essence of a successful relationship in my opinion. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up here guys. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Drop me a comment below about anything that you want to say. And it's always welcome. Um, I'm sure I will learn and you'll have somebody else learn. Don't forget that by like, share, liking, sharing, sharing and subscribing to my channel, not only are you helping me uh, put my work out there, but you're also helping yourselves by doing yourself a favor and earning good, some good karma. Before I go, uh, I'm going to let you know the next two videos that I'm planning to do are actually going to be breaking down of the masculine and the feminine energies and their shadows in a relationship. This is the end. Thank you for hanging around. This is Nim signing out. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.